rise for the honorable judge Monopoly. You may be seated and collect $200. <laughs> We now continue on the case of the homicide of Dr. Body at Body Manor pros Prosecution. Would you like to bring your first witness to the stand? Absolutely, Judge Monopoly. I would like to call Professor Plum to the stand. <clears throat> to swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, I be subject to an income tax of $200 or 10% your income. I do. Now, Professor Plum, I understand you were one of the many guests at Dr. Body's manor that night. Please give us your description of that night. Well, I was invited as a guest at Dr. Body's manor sure, that sure. evening, yeah. along with many others. Mm. I mean, most of the weekend I just spent in the library, yeah. reading my papers by candlelight. I didn't see anything too suspicious until Saturday night when I heard a shrill scream from the room. I rushed to the hall, and there we all were, gathered around the dead body of Dr. Body. Interesting. So you were reading by candlelight, you say? You don't think that's a bit suspicious? Maybe that candlestick could have been used as a weapon to kill Dr. Body! That's where you're wrong. <laughs> I was using a glade flameless candle. Orchard Oasis, to be precise. <laughs> I see, lovely. That's all we need from you, Plum. Please, leave my sight. Care to call your next witness to the stand? Yes, Judge. I would like to call Miss Scarlet to the stand. This way to tell the truth, the <laughs> whole truth, and nothing but the truth, I'll be subject to an income tax of $200 or 10% your income. <laughs> now, Miss Scarlet, from what I understand, you were in the study for most of the night when Dr. Body was murdered. Am I correct? You are. Interesting. Now, the prosecution would like to bring forward a piece of evidence, Judge. It better provide a community chest of answers. <laughs> you may proceed. Thank you. Miss Scarlett, do you have anything to say about this? This was found in the study. The study has a secret passageway to the kitchen. This is a bloody knife, the perfect murder weapon. Objection, Your Honor. Order. Sit down, prosecutor. You may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, Miss Scarlet, what do you have to say about this? You're right. That is the murder weapon. Are you confessing to the murder of Dr. Body? No, but I saw it all happen. I was in the hall, peering through the doors of the many rooms when I saw it happen. A shadowy figure stabbing Dr. Body in the chest. I just, I just, I just can't anymore. Thank you, Miss Scarlet. That's all we need from you. You're a mess. Now, we would like to call one last final witness to the stand. The only other one who would have been in the kitchen that night. We would like to call Colonel Mustard to the stand. That is sad. To tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. All right, I will, I will. Just quit your chatter, bailiff. Jeez. Now, Colonel, I think it's pretty clear here. We have all the evidence. You at the scene of the crime, the weapon of choice. Care you to share your side of the story? You think you're so clever, don't you, prosecutor? Your fancy clothes, your loaded questions. I'm not here to say anything else to you aside from the fact that by the grace of God our Savior, I am innocent. Oh, really? Well, we have someone who says differently. Judge, I would like to call my surprise witness, Miss Peacock, to the stand. What? What is she doing here? I'm telling the truth. I saw Colonel Mustard in the kitchen with the knife kill John Doe. <gasps> oh, that's hearsay. She's a liar. She's a murderer. Your Honor, she took the stand and she's lying right upon it. I do swear. I'm not buying it, Mustard. Looks like this hot dog is only going to have ketchup and relish on top. By the glory of God, I'm innocent. I was in the billiard room all night long. <laughs> Try to take a chance and guess who the murderer of Dr. Body was? Yes, sir. Was it Colonel Mustard with the knife in the kitchen? <laughs> oh, sorry, Miss Prosecutor. It was, in fact, Miss Peacock in the kitchen with the knife. Seems you've lost the case. Third one this week. <laughs> Sorry, case dismissed. Up next, a sexual harassment case involving Twister. Why am I not surprised? <laughs>